All right, guys, I'm at it again. This is a new location for the year, but a place you've seen me before. East Branch Reservoir, otherwise known as Sodom Reservoir. I'm fully set up. Um, got my shed. I've got a heater in there. It's in the 20s today. I've got a tip up there, a tip up there, a tip up there, and a dead stick there. And I'm gonna be jigging in the shed. Um, I gotta tell you guys, um, I'm one of those fortunate few, and I realize how fortunate I am, uh, that I've, I got my second COVID vaccine like three days ago. Um, I'm a teacher, so I'm considered a essential worker, I guess. Um, and let me tell you, I know results are different for everybody, but uh, kind of knocked me out for a few days, and I'm still feeling a little, a little iffy. But uh, nothing like debilitating, just like major fatigue. Um, but uh, now that I'm out here, suddenly I'm feeling refreshed. So let's just hope we can keep this momentum going. Um, this spot does have walleye, so I guess one mission for today would be to find the walleye. I did do a little research into walleye. Um, they say to look for points. Look for points. So this is a point. There's another point there. There's another point there. So I'm focusing on this point for now. And uh, we'll see. I know from Minnesota that uh, walleye tend to go shallow during the nighttime and a little deeper during the day. Uh, we're in about 20, 22 feet of water right now. Um, back in, in Minnesota during the day we'd be fishing about 30. Uh, and then in the, the ice, the, the sleeper house, it was like, uh, I think it was more like 14, 15 feet. So this is kind of like right in between. So we'll see. But um, much more likely, I think, with yellow perch. But uh, who knows? Again, pleasure to be out. It's been cold for a while. I think there might be uh, some more spots available now that it's been cold for a while. But it's still like this nice layer of snow on top. Luckily, I'm not falling through it to the ice beneath because that turns into a very slushy situation. Um, I do have plastic bags around my socks this week because getting your feet wet in this weather is not fun. Um, as I found out at White Pond last week. Uh, so a little less trudging today because you can kind of stay on top of the crusty snow. Anyway, I'm talking a lot. Let's uh, get inside, get warm, start jigging, and catch some fish. Okay, so I'm kind of shocked that there aren't more people out here today. There was, there was one guy when I first got here and he just left. And there's another guy like around that bend who I saw when I was driving in. But uh, that's it. I don't know if like the slushiness deterred them or maybe the cold, but I would have, I mean, didn't deter people at White Pond last weekend. Um, so I'm kind of surprised, but uh, hey, that's all right. I got the lake to myself, right? Okay, I know we're all probably getting so tired of wax worms and spoons, but I'm telling you, it's what's been working lately, so... If it ain't broke don't fix it yet anyway um you know and like keep in mind that when you see like even like a 20 minute long video from me that uh it encapsulates about a seven hour day of fishing so i do try other things they just don't work so a lot of time i just choose not to uh show those parts to you i'm sure you, you haven't heard me mention like z vibers and blade baits and stuff and i have put in some time with that stuff too but to no avail I've positioned all my flags where I can easily see them out each of my windows so hopefully I'll I won't miss anything well, last week I didn't even have to worry about window positioning and uh, I missed so many flags by the way including like this weird snowy icy layer above the actual ice uh, there's a lot of ice I think under the snow, there's probably eight, eight inches, maybe even more. And then including this snow stuff, it's over a foot. Not very worried about uh, ice safety today, which is unique in New York, this part of New York. We've got a flag. Let's go. Is it moving? Is it moving? Not moving. Might have a falsehood on our hands. You 
Nope, we got a fish. Doesn't feel that bad. Perch. All right. Not skunked. It seemed like maybe he swallowed. Not that big, but plump. All right. He's a bleeder. We gonna keep him. The first fish is the hardest. Da -na -na -na. When it comes to getting skunked, I don't. All right, so we got our little perchifer right there. And uh, man, is it cold outside without a jacket. Why I didn't wear one, don't ask. It's right behind me, don't worry. I know you were worried. I'm talking to myself. Shut up. I would have given you all of my heart But there's someone who's torn it apart And she's taken almost all I've got But if you want, I'll try to love again Baby, I'll try to love again, but I know The first cut is the deepest Baby, I know The first cut is the deepest Cause when it comes to being lucky, she's cursed when it comes to loving me, she's worse. But when it comes to being loved, she's first. That's how I know. The first cut is the deepest. Baby, I know. The first cut is the deepest. Baby, I know. The first cut is the deepest, yeah, yeah. Gonna have a fish. Watch this. Ah, he bit it. He bit it. Let's see if he took the. Nope. Okay. Back down. Back down with you. Flag. <laughs> I think I saw it spinning. Nope, I think we missed this one. Damn it. Oh, but we got another flag. It's flag o'clock. Did take the minnow, by the way. Come on. Come on. Might be something small. No, but all right. It's not a terrible sign that they're taking our minnows now. Well, guys, wish we didn't always have to have slow days like this, but I guess if you're watching this, then you're either a fisherman and then you understand the struggle or you have an interest in fishing so you might as well uh, see what it's really like most of the time it's a lot of waiting and it's a game of patience and I find if you can endure put in the time something will happen something will happen and, and occasionally Every once in a while, something really good happens. You catch a really big fish, or you have a really great day catching numbers of fish. But generally, for me, I always put that caveat because I guess there are guys that just always catch fish. But uh, for me, whether whether I like it or not, this is pretty this is pretty standard. This is pretty normal. I feel like any day, any day you're out here. I know it sounds like a cop-out, it sounds like some BS rationalizing, but any day you're out here, 
it's a good thing. And I also feel like any day you're out here, it's an opportunity to learn something, to get experience. Even if it's just something like tying up, you know, rigging up your, your tip-ups, you know. These are freezing over pretty quickly today. Come on. Come on. Get it. Yes. Fish on. Fish on. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? We got them tied up with the Vexilar is what we got. But it's a big ass perch. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Jumbo. Jumbo. With this camera, you can't really get a sense of it. But it's a big perch. Okay. All right, it had been a little while, so that lifts my spirit. Oh no. And the hook came right out. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Wow. Hey, and look, look what he's got in his. Wow. This is not. Oh man. This is not something that was from my tip ups. Look at this. Holy crap. Wow, that's a big one. So, look at that. Look at that. So they are, they are feeding. I don't know what this thing is. No. It almost it's it smells very oily. Almost like um, something from salt water, but damn. It's a nice big whatever it is. All right, I think I'm going to throw this guy back, but I just want to measure him. He's a big one. Not bad, not bad at all. Yep, it's about a 13 inch perch right there. Might even be bigger than that jumbo I got at the diverting reservoir. And this was his lunch, whatever the heck that is. It's so interesting. We're gonna give him a new lease on life here. If he wants it. He wants it. Okay, so I had switched to um, just this kind of big-ish uh, tungsten jig head. It's got a little glow on the bottom. And I had a minnow on there. And I pulled it up because I was going to try my Z-Viber like I've been doing in recent weeks. And not really showing you guys because it hasn't been working that well. But, um, but then I saw something that looked like a fish down there. So I just decided, why don't I just curl up a wax worm around here I you know I took the minnow off sent it down and you know within a minute I had that guy I almost lost him because of this XLR so I'm gonna I'm gonna shorten the uh, leash on the transducer here it shouldn't really affect things that much other than help the fish from getting all wrapped up okay just about done with a major location change I'm actually only maybe 100 yards or so from where I was before, but uh, this is a much more defined point. It's almost like I would call it a peninsula. Um, we're in a bit shallower water. This is like uh, uh, between like 13 for my dead stick in the, behind my shelter, uh, 15, around 15 for this guy my shelter and this guy and then more like 17 or 18 for this guy so i'm finally ready to go i mean relocating all this stuff and setting it all up of course takes time so probably got about two or three hours of the day left we'll see if anything happens over here i need to go warm up so i'll see you back inside Lagaroo. damn it what the f is wrong a sharp hook these are size six hooks i think they're too small but everybody like anywhere you look you know size six is kind of the standard for tip-ups um you know some people go a little bigger with like a size four but these size six i this is two weekends in a row i'm losing a lot more than i'm catching damn it well guys I apologize for the monotony. And if you think it's boring, 
imagine how I feel. So I actually scraped up one more tip up from the back of my sled, one of those little wooden ones. Um, so I've got four tip ups and my um, passive line behind me uh, as well as my jigging. So I, I've kind of surrounded myself in a circle of uh, tip ups and uh, other arrangements and then I'm just here in the middle of that circle. I've seen a couple fish on the graph. I may or may not have shown you, uh, I think it was two or maybe three flags over here that uh, went off, but all of them, I, I lost the minnow, no fish. This just keeps happening to me. If anybody has any, uh, you know, if you think I'm doing anything wrong, I mean, you know, it's always a, 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 a question like do you let them run with it or do you wait till they stop because then sometimes when when you think they stop it's it's already too late because they've actually you know sp spit out the bait um, you know before you you set it and also like do you when you set it do you just do a nice little slow tug or do you do a big rip or is it you know some middle ground I'm getting so tired of this. I mean, he stole the minnow too. Just a little tugged it. I mean, he tugged it. I tried to set the hook. And nope. All right, so they just want to rip my minnow off. So that, I think, is why people do the minnow head. I've done this in the past, mixed results, successfully sometimes. But let's just see. Now, I mean, at least if they want it, they're going to have to go where the hooks are. All right, I got a flag anyway. Let's go. Come on. Yep. Something. It's something. All right, well, just another little perch. I think I'm gonna have to keep this guy too because he swallowed it. It's not that big, but oh well. Yeah. Actually, I think he's alright. Get back in there. Guys, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Nothing is happening here. There isn't a flag up. There's not gonna be a fish. It's not gonna be a walleye. It just is what it is. Well, it's a perch at least. Dusky perch. And the funny thing is I only see some ice in his mouth. I don't even see the perch. I mean, the shiner. All right. Off you go. Okay guys, well, unless something fantastic happens, and it often doesn't, uh, I'm gonna sign off. Sorry about the lighting, but it's basically night. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we have a little more luck. Hope we catch some different species. Hope we catch some bigger fish next time. But as for now, please like, please subscribe, and fish like there's no tomorrow. Peace.